Welcome to Black Holes Don't Exist, Episode 1B, an addendum to Episode 1. I made this video so I may provide articles against the existence of black holes. First, don't be surprised that I turned off comments on Episode 1. It was becoming cumbersome to report the consistent sophomores harassment. Furthermore, the majority of negative comments would not address the key points of Episode 1. I believe the key points of episode 1 were to provide a layman's perspective of researching the subject matter of black holes. Points were that black hole theory is an evolving, unscientific theory, flawed from the day it was invented by relativists. Not all relativists are stupid, just the ones that drip up black holes. My overall goal was and still is to show that it is a crapshoot to find any legitimate reports in the media as well as mathematically sound peer-reviewed material. In episode 1, I attempted to show you that nearly all of the proposed evidence shows that there is in fact no definitive proof of a black hole. The evidence turns out to be non-evidence and works against black hole theory rather than support it, and the worst part of the fantastic trend of reporting their discovery is when you challenge it in the public, black hole theory trolls come at you with all the angles you've already heard that don't really support the theory, but rather expose it as a paradox. In this addendum to episode 1, we are going to review 9 articles within the last 7 years that argue that black holes don't exist. These arguments against the existence of black holes are debatably stronger than the arguments for their existence. Case in point. Arguments for the existence of black holes tend to be aggressive and dogmatic, resistant to any challenges. As soon as you show one part of the theory is flawed, it is explained in a different way without reasonable evidence or logic with the, the biased and unfair perspective that you or I are incapable of understanding what is accepted by the establishment. Arguments against the existence of black holes tend to show that black hole theory violates the laws of physics, as well as having no valid real-world representations either by artists' renditions, computer models, or physical evidence such as photographs and movies. When photographic evidence such as stills and or movies are examined, there is not much to look at except objects that are not black holes moving in a manner that seems to suggest to the mind of a black hole believer that something is there, but it is invisible. Unfortunately for black holes believers, instruments that scan more electromagnetic frequencies than the bandwidth of visible light will tell you that not much else is there either. Perhaps the reality of what we are observing is some other natural phenomenon, easily confused and mislabeled as something it is not. Perhaps we have no idea what we are really looking at. In my own opinion, and in the opinions of other black hole skeptics, there may be nothing there at all as the concept of gravity continues to be mysterious to science. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of other poor ideas that are force-fed to us by so-called theorists that I don't accept, like neutrinos, warping of space, a universal velocity limit to light speed, and there's plenty more. I have been following black hole theory for 19 years, and after reviewing thousands of articles, photographs, and movies depicting the inference pattern of a black hole, I have yet to see anything in said evidence that indicates to me at all that there is a black hole anywhere. Still, unintelligent news media networks publish, very often, fictional black hole discoveries that if any one of them were true would be the biggest and most important find in history next to the discovery of extraterrestrial life. While we're still researching for life down here on Earth, it is a wonder to me why we even care about fictional black holes. Some of my friends think I'm a dunce for caring about the perpetuated myth of black holes. I care because when I was 11 years old, I realized that Lucy had some splaining to do. Back then, I realized I was being misled or lied to. Today, I get the chuckles when a new report emerges with another exciting artist rendition and or bad photo of a distant bright object that could be a star or something else. Now that I'm done with my general commentary, Let's review nine articles that argue the, that black holes don't exist. In 2005, Nature, International Weekly Journal of Science, published this article. 
black holes do not exist by Philip Ball. Here you have in this article, it goes over how um, basically it is nearly certain that black holes don't exist. Um, and in this article, it referenced a guy named George Chaplin that has a alternative theory that better explains, in my mind, what's going on um, with what we think are black holes. So this is, this is one article published in 2005. In 2006, the, uh, the Tech Republic posted this article, this just in, Black Holes Don't Exist. And in this article is by Jay Garman. Um, this article goes over a different article um, about the same thing, but it's posted on News Scientist. And uh, the article talks about the big cosmic uh, controversy, and this one is by Zia Morali. So in 2007, there was a post on Case Western Reserve University about black holes that don't exist. Um, case researchers may have solved information loss paradox to find black holes do not form. So basically here you have another article that goes over why practical scientists don't think that um, black holes exist based on observed phenomenon. And here we have in, in 2007 also we have an article by Wired that says black holes don't exist say physicists. It goes on about problems talked about by um, Stephen Hawking and uh, the scenarios he thought of and using Einstein's general relativity. So here's one, this is by Brandon Keane, this is another article that uh, argues they don't exist. In 2010, a blog called A Sky Full of Stars, they posted an article that says quantum leap black holes don't exist, this is by Thomas Kennedy, where he goes over different ways of looking at why it wouldn't exist. On the Atlantis blog, December 1st, 2010, we have an article that references another video but argues um, why black holes don't exist. It's a pretty good article. And uh, okay, so then the Scientific American posted in July of 2011, maybe black holes don't really exist by George Chaplin. This is a very good ar article. It expresses a lot of points that are better articulated by George, who is a theoretical physicist at uh, the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. And in August of 2011, Galileo's pendulum posted black holes don't exist doesn't say who the author is, but um, this is a good article. It has pictures of uh, a composite picture of Sagittarius A star, which is supposed to be a region of space that possesses a black hole. This would be the black hole that's closest to us based on the, the black hole model that there's a black hole in every uh, galactic center. So this article argues against black holes and uh, explains why. Pretty good article. Last but not least, on uh, August 3rd in 2012, C Magazine posted an article that was originally published back in 2006. The article was, What if Black Holes Didn't Exist? by Richard Morgan. This is a really good article, probably the, the one of the best written articles on the subject. Um, it also shows, you know, an artist's conception. So, you know, the... The artist conceptions are really important, I think, because they show you that somebody's got a really good imagination. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any photographs that look like this, so we can't really say that 
I mean, proven that there's a black hole out there. This is a really good article. These are just some of many news articles that attempt to make sense out of the black hole issue. If you do your own research, you may run into the same frustration I and other skeptics have with the news media posting garbage like, another black hole discovered. Sure, it can be argued that it is not their fault that they are being fed disinformation from a good old boys club of unscientific theorists. Thanks for watching. Coming soon, episode 2 of Black Holes Don't Exist. Fact versus Fiction.